Today I'm going to show you how to make amazing works of art right inside the Seesaw Canvas. Now to get your students making beautiful art like this, you can go to the green plus and go post student work or you can create an activity that allows them to go straight into the drawing just like this. In order to make this artwork, we're actually going to use the highlighter. What I'm going to do is choose the highlighter and choose a pen. I'm gonna stick with the middle size and I'm gonna choose my color. Now let's go with a green because we're gonna actually make the background for our drawing and then we're gonna cut around it using the eraser. So let's start by just making some lines like this. I'm just gonna hold down my mouse as I'm going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until I kind of have a base layer. From here, I'm gonna pick up my mouse and unclick and just click again. Now I can do this in streaks. I can do this in lines, but you can see as soon as I do this and go over the green again, it's gonna add a depth of color to it. Let's switch to a different color like this and go at a different angle like the blue. And we'll add one more little layer here by just going to like a really, really tiny size, go to a dark blue and add in some little zigzags like this, some little S's, that looks like fun. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so our background is finished. What I'm going to do is go to the eraser now and I'm gonna choose a nice fine tip to be able to cut the outline of my caterpillar. So to do that, I'm just gonna go section by section just like this and we're just gonna cut around this to make the shape of our caterpillar. Now, if I did that and I was like, I don't really like this, I wanna do something different, I can always undo this and it's just going to bring back my lines that I just erased. Let's say I wanna leave it though and trim around the rest of this to continue my drawing. What I'm going to do is choose the eraser and go to a little bit bigger pen and cut away all the outside. All right, so now we have the outline of our caterpillar finished. Let's add the head onto this side over here by going back to the highlighter and choosing the red color. Now I'm gonna go and make sure I have a nice uh, bigger tip than that fine tip and choose our color from our color wheel on the right. Just like with those sections, I'm gonna go and make our outline of our shape, but since this is a different color, I wanna do my best to stay inside of the outline that I initially draw. This way there's less cleanup, there's less erasing because if I have to erase over this green, it's gonna get rid of that beautiful green that we already designed. So I'm just gonna be a little bit more careful here, making sure that I stay inside of this outline that I drew. Again, clicking and releasing, clicking and releasing to add some beautiful layers to the face of our caterpillar. Now I could also go and zoom way in to be able to get much more fine detail on this face if I wanted to. You can see that when I zoom in, it allows my pen even to be a little bit smaller so that I can have some awesome depth to the face of my caterpillar. Let's stay zoomed in and finish our caterpillar before we zoom out and see the final product. What I'm going to do is switch to the marker, go down to black, and we're gonna draw the eyes and the antenna and the mouth while we're here. So let's make oval eyes just like this. Let's do two of them since caterpillars typically have two eyes. We'll make them even as we can, just like this. Perfect, perfect. And let's go to a finer tip to make our little caterpillar smile, just like that. We'll finish up by doing the two stalks for the antenna, one and two. And we'll add a nice big dot for the tips of those antenna, just like this. So let's zoom out and see our final product of our beautiful, amazing caterpillar. So there is how we actually make beautiful art inside of the Seesaw Canvas using the highlighter and other drawing tools and erasing around it to create an Eric Carle-esque beautiful drawing inside of the canvas itself. Remember the tricks of zooming in when you need to and also changing the pen size to help you out with trimming and making beautiful details onto your drawings. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to go to web.seesaw.me lessons to see what we're working on next.